Tim, who needs to step up on Heroic and who's winning overall? Nico does with the AWP, put up a fight against Shiro, and then we have a game for ourselves. Spirit is going to win this one 2-0 in a close fashion. We certainly have a game on our hands. Everybody at home, the winner of Spirit and Heroic will be going to Copenhagen. And to carry us through the cast, we've got that Irish-American connection of Dinko and Moses. Heroic versus Team Spirit, a spot in the major on the line. This is a very exciting matchup for so much firepower across both sides of the server, but everybody is waiting for Donk to make his debut at a major, and maybe he can get there today. Should be. They are the favorites coming into this one. I mean, I'll, I'll just say it right out of the gate. I've been super impressed with this Heroic team has been able to, to accomplish and, and some of the wins that they've put on the board. Haven't gone, like, deep into tournaments quite yet, but... Uh, They've had some solid upset wins. Zontek's gonna get that opening kill traded immediately by Shush. And the A bomb site is devoid of presence after that. They stacked over towards the other side of the map and it hasn't paid off for Team Spirit. So Heroic make the perfect call. There's a kit available and plenty of utility on Magics. It's kind of interesting to see Zontex get that aggressive in A main as the sole defender, not only at this bomb site but on this half of the map. So a big recovery mission coming in for Spirit. They do have smoke, flash, and a kit. They've just got to find enough kills to create the space and opportunity for that defuse to come in. Oh, Donk sees the tip of the barrels here for Shush. Goes around that corner, can't get that kill. Shush is confident to swing and fight him. Magic's coming in. Remember, he's to play with a kid on his back. They buys extra seconds for Spirit to try and make this retake work. But Tessis topples two. And the smoke is now onto the defuse. Tessis is not letting them get away with his Time is gone. Spirit lose the pistol. And Tessis went slashing through the smoke. That pistol had it all, but it's heroic. They come out on top. Just making sure. Nice hold from Tessis as well. Behind the pillar some critical kills in the midst of that retake because of an opening kill from donk provided another kill coming down the staircase and that was potential for that smoke diffuse that we were looking for with plenty of bodies but tessas thins him out and then takes it out of reach Yes. One to nothing for Heroic. Tessas has had some great performances inside of this new Heroic team. I remember back at Katowice, he had some statement performances in the group stage of the event. Definitely had some moments to get big upsets. And I thought he was the player on the chopping block with that older roster with KD and Stown, etc. It, it looked like he was going to be the one that goes and KD and stays. Yeah, a lot of people did, and it obviously doesn't work out that way. And when this roster came together, I... I I, I didn't think it was anything super impressive. That was really sad, honestly. Yeah, I was, I was really worried that we would just see Heroic kind of drop off the map, but they've done such a good job to, of maintaining position. And as another one of those teams at, at Katowice that had, you know, again, didn't make the playoffs, but had some, some good upset wins, notably over Vitality. Yeah, and I think that you have to talk about the coaching situation of Saw and an and in-game leader. Sure. Kicks, getting them into shape so quickly is so impressive. And obviously when you have a player like Nerds, you've got a lot of firepower available. Yeah, that was another one. I thought Nerds was gonna like learn a lesson. Like you have you have different teammates around you. It's gonna be hard to perform at the same level, but he keeps matching up. Double nades in towards camera is gonna be for an easy mop up. And Shiro gonna try and sidestep the smoke. That ain't gonna work. It's all down to magics. And it's two to nothing for Heroic. An upset here over Spirit, though, would be something real, real special, especially to qualify for the Major. I mean, everybody was expecting Spirit to come in and get a 3-0 run into the Major. Obviously having a bad day at the office for, for Donk. I, mean, I think Vertigo kind of has been found that as a weakness for Team Spirit. And a couple of teams abusing that. And Mao's, wow, what a performance that was yesterday. Really solid stuff. Just taking down Team Spirit, handing them out. Their you first know, land loss. The 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 kind of pushback, or the I, I don't even know if it's like all that entire series. I feel like half the internet is just kind of taking taking the piss out of the situation of Donk from Katowice to here. But there was always going to be like a, a step down with how high of a bar he set in Katowice, and it's still still an early early step up in terms of competing against the best in the world. There's a, there's a lot of lessons still. The exciting thing is the potential that's shown. We're going to watch his game over the next few years adapt and change a little bit to, to this level of play, and, and then we get to see what kind of a beast he can turn into. Absolutely. Like, there's there's still the another starting level point, to donk. That yeah. was the starting point. Yeah, exactly. That, you know, he's uh, a lot further on. He's kind of a victim of his own success at the moment. Exactly. Suffering from success. Chopper takes the hit to an MP9 because they needed extra utility for the CT side. It's quite sparse when it comes to nades, and that could be a problem. Donk, 52 health, takes the first bit of damage. He'll play in behind the hieroglyphics. His teammate Magic's out towards IV, and they know Donk's position. He's probably the most studied player over the last month. They're going to try and neutralize him with utility. We've seen he didn't deal so well with that when Astralis are putting a hurt on him. 
And he's cut out right now with smokes. Just held behind the smokes itself. Heroic get into the bomb site, and now they have to start thinking about clearing out the platform. Donk is hard cleared. Hard prepared for it. And now the bomb is going to go down on D. Yeah, again, no room to work with. The rest of his teammates had backed off, so there was nothing to stop that progression. And Team Spirit, with no utility, they've got one smoke. They do have a kit on Chopper, as you said, drop down to that MP9, but still want nothing to do with this. Still want to, don't want to risk anything else. So they'll go into the next round, and this isn't bad at all. They have the op on Shiro. They can replenish utility. Donk will get what he can. And they'll have pretty much another full dangerous buy to contend with. A chopper... Taking a few steps back towards Cameron Nikodos. Will not let that happen. Every death is painful when you're trying to save like this. That one really, really hurts for Chopper to go down. And Nikodos, he might still hunt a little bit more. He's got Zontix out in the open for a challenge. Can't win it. Bomb goes off. Kit's there on the ground. AK's there on the ground as well. Zontix will happily grab those. I mean, there's definitely a conversation to be had about Donk going into Katowice. There was hype around him, but I don't think anybody was expecting him to be as good as he was. And then after Katowice, when he did that performance and everybody was now looking at him and wondering, how the hell do we stop him? I think Stiko put out a perfect tweet just after Kato, and he said, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this where the entire CS community have to come together to counter one player. <laughs> and it, it's true. I mean, you go back and everybody's looking at his demos. There's hundreds of demo review videos out there. People know his spots, how he plays, his tendencies, his moves. And you can see Astralis counted him very well on Vertigo. They, they look so ready for exactly where he was going to be outside of Dark there. And when you've got so much focus on you, you really need to rely on your teammates elsewhere to step up in your stead. Yeah, one of the videos I saw was uh, was was from Alige, made like a review of one of his one of his games from the, the finals of, of Katowice as well. And Alige is someone I rate very highly in terms of his, his knowledge of individual decision making and like kind of decision trees within Counter-Strike. And I mean, even even he was just kind of like, you know, there's nothing, nothing super special here. He just does the basics, the fundamentals really, really well. Timings are very good. When he chooses to rotate, kind of finding finding a way to have impact in chaotic situations is really good. He's Donk now. Nurts is already through B. Donk calling position for him to be in. Again, hard checked. Shush gets rid of him. They have both the sets of crosshairs on that angle. And Donk takes a step back to his death. So bomb is planted. Heroic looking to secure their fourth round in a row. It's one hell of a start here on Anubis. Once again, one kill on Donk. Save call on the other side of the map for Team Spirit. Well, also, once again, Donk's really the only player committed inside that bomb site. When utility starts raining in, he's the only one in aggressive stance. Everyone else has fallen back behind the smoke. So there's nobody to slow them down from wrapping around on Donk's position and can't even, can't even pray for a clean look at that point. Four to nothing. And they're sending the hunt in. This the is hunting parties out. Kicksand's pushing through a main. If they take even a few more weapons out of this, the next round's gonna be brutal. Flash has not really worked out exactly how he would have wanted it. Still a lot of ground to make up, and Kicksand will not get his chance. It's it's so hard to work up the courage to go for a hunt. You might swing in very, very late after the bomb explodes, but not even that. I mean, when the save call comes out, you know Spirit just have all the time in the world to set up perfectly to prevent those guns from going down. So yeah, these are, these are nice wins right now, and they're obviously relatively easy rounds to get up on the scoreboard. But as long as Spirit, I mean, is saving three, four weapons, like you're not, you're not getting that clean win that allows you to really kind of skyrocket up the scoreboard. Yeah, you know they're going to have money built up. Like every round is a gun round still for Spirit. Mm -hmm. oh, frustrating for, for Donk, I'm sure. At the start of this game. Keep eyes on whether or not that will continue. Kicksand heading with Nikodos to try and open up this fight at A. Straight through the awful run. It's risky and it has not paid off. Zontix and Shiro are primed for an A push and they stop them at the door. Okay, a little cheesy to start with from Heroic. Being really, really aggressive, really fast to open up this map. And finally it gets shut down. There is a switch into a double op setup. Shiro has that obviously. He got the... Second kill over an A main. Magix has the other AWP at the B bomb site, and this round will allow the defense to settle down. This will allow Donk and Magix to have a little bit of patience staring at B main for the moment. All of Heroic is spread across the map. Because Magix has this B main angle, Donk can just focus on his one task. Chopper's lined up a flashbang as well for the op shot from Magix. He'll chuck it out as soon as the op fires its bullet. Not needed. It's just Nerds. Flash goes out anyway. Nerds. It's not the only victim of the round, though, for Heroic. Nikodos and Kicksand dead first. Hero was close to bringing down a further kill. And Magix, oh, we had all the information, but Tessa still domes the Opera. And a second shot is even better on Chopper. Donk has to step up, and Tessus knows where he is, but this is the most difficult fight he'll have. A 1v1 duel against Donk, just constantly moving. And Donk is given his chance, his first multi-kill of Anubis. 
Heroic's risky play towards A does not pan out. A couple nice kills at the end of the day, but Doc does manage to save the secondary AWP. That'll be passed back over to Magix. Yeah, interesting. We've seen that double lot setup run over the last few events now for Spirit. Magix, the secondary sniper. And I w wonder now how things change for Heroic. I don't think we'll see a, a kind of a fast play like that A main push, maybe towards the B bomb site where you can get the smokes out from T spawn essentially very, very quickly and set up another wall, execute, force those ops into a retake. Force those ops to find impact around Utility. Oh, they're going back to B. The A play didn't work, so Utility will trickle into the B bomb site. It's going to be a quick execute here. Magic's blinded still just before. His screen is full of white. He lands one shot. Doc is protected and Magix is still chiming in. This B attack is absolutely destroyed, left yeah. outside. Where did the smokes go? Why, Magix has free reign to just repeat, repeat constantly. There's no smoke blocking his vision. It's just the initial salvo of flashbangs. You're right, you're right. And now Nikodos is completely stalled out. Where did it go? <laughs> like, where was the execute? There was a whole load of utility being set up. Nikodos, oh my god, Doc. Peace. <laughs> That's just wild. Okay, he's freed up a little bit more now. He's enjoyed that adaptation. It's great to see Spirit adapt pretty quickly to the game plan of, of abusing Donk and getting Magix on that secondary AWP, just covering off B main. It's worked out very well. Magic selects two different angles to start the route. Last time it was on platform, this time to the right side of the obelisk. It's a couple things, obviously. I mean, the AWP is, the AWP is helping out a little bit, but it's more just the fact that the AWP has to maintain kind of aggression inside the bomb site. Donk's not alone at that yes, bomb exactly, site the yeah. way he was the first couple of gun rounds that Heroic ran in that direction. Tessus wanting to try and challenge through middle. He takes a lot of damage from that initial utility. He's down to 34, and I wonder if it's even worth it because now he has to give up the position with 25 health. They're going back to B. They want to get bruised again by Magix. Smoke is blown open. Magix at the back of the platform. Dog, good spray control. That's a second kill in. And Magix was under so much pressure, but handled it so well. His teammates have made the rotation on over. And Heroic can't break through this duo right now. Magix is showing why he's the secondary sniper. He's feeling it. He's landing beautiful shots, and Shiro's come over to close it. That's a, uh, a brilliant round from from Magix. Uh, the Donk spray transfer, the second one, while blind, is is special, but Magix is just doing work with the AWP, repositioning, multi-kills, doing a good job of, of really kind of uh, maintaining pressure on the attack at all times. Yeah. And a timeout called from Heroic. Their initial game plan worked for a few rounds. It did, uh, but it has been kind of thrown out the window now. Great adaptation very quickly from Team Spirit. Yeah, when you keep it up, you're kind of still trying to deliver those those knockout punches. But you have to say, I mean, the, the calls to save early on from, from Spirit were probably very painful for them to have to continually give up some of those early rounds. But they've allowed them to stabilize much, much quicker than you'd expect. Yeah. A lot of analysis about Donk's micro play, and two of the things that people have noticed he's very, very good at is his, his sprays. He does rely a lot on sprays, and also he's just like constantly crouch, crouching, you know, like he's, he's crouch spam abuser, some people are calling him these days. And uh, it just makes it very difficult to shoot, and you've got a good sort of idea of how his spray transfer can work in that round. AK 47 for the side of Heroic in the hands of Shush. Nurts is on a Galil, and the rest on pistols. Towards mid we go, this time quietly. Tessas was super aggressive here last round. This time kind of creeps up, but there's three players at the A-bomb site. Oh, and there's a double look. A deep AWP and Chopper close up in camera. Oh, Shiro just changes his position. Now he's got it back and they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, they're, they are if they commit, but they haven't gone around that corner. They haven't walked through camera just yet, but eventually they will have to because it's a two-pronged approach to attack this A-bomb site. Shiro's given up his spot just at the wrong time. Oh, Shiro Lord. and Zontix dead just like that. And heroic breakthrough on the pistols. That's the bomb down and that's the round. That's a nightmare of timing twice for Shiro, both when he looks away from camera initially just as they step in and obviously on the reposition as well. Brutal way to lose a round, and that's Heroic with a pistol force up, finding a way to win. They're up to five. Yeah, that's a great round for Heroic to grab. Donk is still applying some pressure to the extremities here. He might have a rugs fight going up against Kixan, and that would be one weapon taken out of the hands of Heroic. He looked away, just got back in time. The A bomb site falls to unfortunate timing. But we were watching the playoff game of Kato, and we watched Zontex. We questioned whether or not he would be able to handle the pressure of a big stage game as an anchor with an important role 
where you sometimes maybe make mistakes if you feel the pressure. He didn't really do that. It felt like he was a safe pair of hands on that A-bomb site. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wanted him to collapse a little bit because just hearing him in interviews being like, ah, it's no big when deal. When he's so it's confident nothing. in himself. I was, like, like, I was like, come on, man. We've been through this before. We've <laughs> had Nafany. We've had Chiron. We've, we've seen this before. Like, don't say those things. <laughs> he's like, and then he stepped up and he delivered behind it. So he's like, all right, fair play. Well done. Loads of respect. And that's a point that Des brought up as well. Like, Donk is getting a lot of the attention, but Shiro, Zontix, Magix, these are all great pieces to have behind you that are all that are all playing very well for Spirit. They're a complete team. To me, the story I'm most invested in is Chopper. He's been playing since 2013. So many years of not making it through the minors and the RMR qualifiers, not making it into the majors. He's got one trophy on his belt. And he's got this team of absolute beasts now within this young couple of players that have joined his team and he has actually got a great shot at a major and that must feel amazing he was able to do it with a young team back in Antwerp right made a semi-final but this team just looks different this team looks better Shiro's off the fountain Zon takes in front of him will the A hold be solid this time the answer is no Shiro's only got one kill Chopper caught the flash rotates in and dies at the camera once again heroic break through the A bomb site they are getting dismantled, Spirit. And this is this is simple stuff from Heroic. This is not really kind of moving around the map, forcing rotations, finding gaps to lurk into. This is brute force. Every time they're swinging to take the initial fight, three Heroic players that time. Donk's going to wait and CT spawn. So is Magix. So B was working early, then it wasn't working. So Heroic decided, all right, let's try A. There's not, there's not much more you could do, though, if you're Team Spirit. I mean, both sites have been played with, you know, uh, you know, Donk and Magix with Rifle and an AWP, and then it's Zontix and Shiro with a Rifle you and an AWP. You would say the better <laughs> Alper as well on that side of the map in, in the Shiro, so yeah, a little strange. Now, the nice thing for Team Spirit is they got plenty of money. They are they, they had money built up, and now they have money continually grow as the loss bonus grows, so they have cash to buy. Yeah, and it's worth noting as well, this is... The T side of Anubis. But this is their map pick. That's true. Which actually adds to my point even more. So moving into the second half, their T side should be very strong. Time out taken. Second for Team Spirit. Heroic have shown that they're willing to play Anubis. We got to see it many a time in Caddo and they looked comfortable on it. They got some decent wins on it. Guess, especially against Vitality. They were the team that knocked them out on Anubis. And we know how good Vitality can be on this map. It was Nerds, though, that was the standout star winning the most impactful rounds. They've been winning as a team here, Heroic. Another victory in the RMRs against Astralis. I, I actually love the fact that Heroic is still competitive because your, t your best players just get absolutely gutted. The whole shebang with KD and leaving the team as well. And Dude, it wasn't the best player. It was the entire, like, org. Uh, yeah, yeah, the whole gutted. org just got ripped apart. Yeah. <laughs> you felt you lost what felt like three of the most impactful players on the team, including the in-game leader and offer. <laughs> the spine got ripped out. Yeah, uh, and somehow they're able to still stand up. Yeah, they've somehow come out in a, in a pretty decent place in all of this, despite I didn't expect it. Good damage done by Chopper. Brings Tesses down to just 11 HP, and Nikodaz can't land the shot in return. He's been able to have a pretty quiet game so far. One kill for Nikodaz just because the aggressive riflers are doing most of the work, and the entries into the bomb sites have been so solid. Looked like he was going to get that kill on Chopper. Somehow missed out on it. Now a fight against Donk in the darkness. Kixan's going to play on the other side of the smoke. That'll eventually fade away. This time, Shush is applying a little bit of pressure. He's used his full nade kit already. He's keeping two players there. One's in middle. And that's information gathered by Nikodaz. So if you're heroic, you have a three on two at this bomb site. You're calling out. There's only two people here. We can break in. Uh, Tessa says the AWP. Magix needs to be careful. He doesn't over Exposed to B main. Zontix has made the rotation over and Donk is being forced back because of utility to the platform. And that play from Shush goes down at the hands of Shiro and they see no other A players. They see no other presence. And so they ready and steady themselves for a B attack in the final 25 seconds. Zontix spans to the smoke, catches on Nikodos, line up for Donk, sends them packing. 
That's four for Team Spirit and a brutal behold. That took way too long to come to fruition for Heroic. Way, way too long. And poor Shush, he was having to apply pressure at that A site without utility, trying to force the issue, trying to make sure that they stayed parked there. But still, there was time for Spirit to get a third player back to the B bomb site. So uh, they pumped the brakes a little too hard. And by the time they pull the trigger on the push, there's no flashbangs, no utility, no Molotovs anywhere. And it's way too easy for Spirit. Heroic. I've still got a good buy here. Enough money for a purchase in this round. But that will fade away. Despite the fact that Heroic have six rounds, Spirit haven't had to save once in this half. They've done such a good job with their money outside of the second round after losing a pistol. They've done such a good job. Yeah, you haven't had to go down to lower tier buy at all, Doc. Oh, sprays down and again. A multi kill. They were finding success in the early goings, but now it's become the dog show in dark. They can't get through this area of the map. And when he eliminates that option, there's no B split potential anymore. Yeah, he had he had enough of he had enough of their shenanigans. Putting a stop to it now as this half goes on deeper. That's a tricky way of trying to clear out the dark players. Just two players simultaneously walking through smoke with no indication and no utility. The idea is that you might kill one, but the other guy's gonna be in a position to trade you off and obviously gets completely shut down. This shot. That's a little unfortunate for Shiro, but he's got plenty of teammates now rotated towards this side of the map. And now you're stuck in the open against one of the best offers in the world. Oh, missed shot from Shiro again, but he's under a lot of pressure now. His teammate's going to be cleaning up with a rifle. As long as Shiro stays alive there, they're focused, they're drawn towards him. And Sontix is given all the distraction he needs, and Shiro sends that one through the smoke. Yeah, the heroic game plan's starting to look a little scuffed down the stretch in the second half. Not uh, haven't ad adapted very well. This kind of switch into a slower style hasn't has been as successful. So the question now kind of becomes, is, is six enough for the second half when they switch sides? Six to five, last round. Galil on Tess's. Tech nines, Mac tens on the board as well. And they're headed towards A. A similar kind of rush earlier failed. Oh, charging in. Mac 10 is Zontix going to be at the ready. He knows that Shiro had the initial fight, and Shiro this time's cleaning up. It's the same setup that fell apart earlier, but this time it holds strong. Oh, Tech nine for Nikodos. Now spotted Donk is fighting him and will win that duel. Six to six half. And this is Team Spirit's map pit. This is looking very good, especially when you get six rounds on the CT side. That gives you so much room to play with. Yeah, it's uh, it's a nice recovery for Spirit as well. They had to burn a couple of timeouts, had to save a couple of rounds early on, but they found a way to really come back in that half and keep this close, not let Heroic run away with too much of a lead. I kind of feel bad for Heroic in this event, though, because you look through their run oh, yeah? about the teams they've had to play. Why do you feel bad, Dingo? Because look at the teams they've had to play. You got Prees in the opener. All right, you just like, you know, do Prees in there, refresh, experienced Danish players. Then the second game, Vitality. And then you get 13 3. And then you got to face Astralis, which on paper looks like a very dangerous team, very scary, but Heroic handed out the business again, 13 7. And your reward for beating Astralis so badly? Spirit. So it's it's a rough old time here for Heroic in don't, terms of the teams they've got to face. Don't feel bad. Just appreciate that they're making it work. Yeah, okay, Jason. All right, <laughs> no. you're, you're right. No sympathy whatsoever. Yeah, get that out of there. Pistol round, second half. Heroic on the CT side. Spirit attacking into them. Nerts is going to challenge over in dark. That's Donk, who's trying to make progress up canals. He's got the cover of a teammate behind him as well, and Shiro. Uh, Donk slips away just at the right or wrong time, whichever way you look at it. Chopper holding mid. Ooh, what a shot from Kicksan. Yeah, that looked like Chopper had every advantage. Right. Well, Chopper's having a tough, tough one right now. One kill in that first half, and he's going to stick on one in this pistol round. Four on five. Nikodaz still keeping track of any progress in middle spots one, but he hasn't seen magics yet creeping up on the left side of mid. Yeah, Nikodaz is just going to drop further back. Oh, hello. Zontix has slipped through the A bomb site. No one's detected this. Zontix climbing up heaven. He's sure going to be aware of the fact that they have left a huge gap that might have been exploited. 
Yeah, but how do they how do they work this? Do they go back to the B bomb site and he pushes through? Okay, oh, just gonna well, catch an easy rotation. Now it's coming back to the A bomb site. Of heaven. Now the fight for there for Zontix. He'll pick that one up as well. So seizes his chance to go through the gap, and he just keeps going onto the beach until he takes contact and until he finds a fight. And as soon as they get that fight. The round is done, essentially, unless there's some quick kills coming in for Heroic to open up a retake. What a timing to hit for Zontix to get that deep without being detected. If yeah, you're the player really that good. goes down in CT spawn, you're pissed. You're so mad right now. Yeah. Dong's going to add one more, and now he's just unleashed himself. Yeah, he sees, sees that it's a 4v2, but maybe gone a little bit too far. Tessa hits that headshot on the USP, but there's still a trifecta of death lined up in this post plant, but one of those sites has been taken out, and Shiro has to step up, and they're stead, and the P250 swings on out confirms the pistol for Team Spirit. Crazy pistol, really. Zon takes the fact he's on the beach. Yeah, if you're kicks in, you're just... What? You're just freaking out. Your heart rate rises so quickly. It's not expected anybody to be there. Yeah, it's a real wusa moment. You got to find a way to calm yourself down because that was that was unreasonable <laughs> that someone is that deep without anybody knowing. Rough. Seven to six. Team Spirit picking up where they left off in the first half. Negev. A Negev. We haven't seen that, Jason. Kicks on with a Negev. You can even sell back, so... He wants it. Could be a pretty effective. It's pretty cheap. Whole lot of bullets. Can clear out smokes. The only time I see it is in like meme deathmatch. You don't even see it matchmaking, which really is saying something. All right, Kixan, maybe we'll see the start of a new meta. Spirit's like, what the hell? Start what of a new day. <laughs> what do we do against what? this? What, what is that sound? Is that a Negev? Has someone bought a Negev? He absolutely right. has, and you jump right into it. The laser beam ripping apart Team Spirit. And that is why you buy the Negev. I'm surprised they went at him. I would have been like, no, I don't know what this gun's capable of. I want out of here. I ain't going anywhere close. I best, I get they were just like, I want to punish him for buying that. And it's gone the other way. Heroic have a headshot in the hands of Shush. Zontix is dead and Donk and Magix have the whole round ahead of them in a two versus five. Oh, Kixen just broke the game. Everyone's going to be looking into the Negev now. Oh, God. Thanks a lot. You've ruined Counter-Strike, Kixan. How does it feel? All right, Donk needs to get both of these kills. He could save it. Nope. No, he can't. This will go down in history as the round the Negev won in a qualification game for the Major. Beautiful. All right, Magix. Good luck. Yeah, we'll send him he's, in. He's got a... He's, he's got a 1v1 fight. He's got a chance. Oh, it's spotted now. Now they know his position, so everyone's going to start rotating. And yeah, now he gets double peaked, and that's pretty impossible against the five sevens. They stall him out, and it's 7-7. Seven to seven. And yeah, that's that's a big smile cracking on his face. Yeah, the Negev. I wonder how that conversation goes. Like, guys, if... I'm going to buy the Negev if we lose pistol. <laughs> it's like, um... Okay, uh, I guess. Let him, let him have a little bit of fun. And Ooh. then you get two kills from it. You absolutely love the idea. I mean, why not? It's very cheap. You see how quick it killed players of rifles and SMGs, so why not go for it? He's keeping it. Still got it. Same position for Kixan. This can't be how this game goes, though. Like, surely it, the turning point isn't the Negev. I'm in for it. <laughs> I hope it is. It also can just rip apart smokes as well, so it is quite cool in that respect. Damage done to Donk early. Nerds from the darkness sends the bullets through, and Donk is down to 31 health. At the moment, looking like Spirit's going to test the A bomb site. And they've got utility, they've got Deagles, Tech Nines, and armor. And they've got, a, once again, a very passive defense. It's just way, way back. He's going to get smoked off, trying to peek before it plumes into his death. Oh my god, Donk. That's got to feel good if you're Donk and Spirit as they get through to this A bomb site. Off the back of one big deek, and that's forced them to fall back here. Heroic, nowhere near getting through in a retake attempt through camera. Well, let's see what this Negev can do on a retake if they do eventually go for it. I would, I almost would be shocked if they do commit to this. And they're getting close towards heaven. The Negev is sent in first, not exactly known as the fastest gun in the game, and it's gone, as you would expect, as Donk and Shiro stepping up with some weaker guns, and Nerds has run out of ammo, so he's taken out by the Tech-9, and a last-ditch swing from Nikodos is removed. Team Spirit have the Deagle on Donk, and the a site falls. They lose everything, and remember, in the first half in those situations, Spirit just saved on the CT side, down 4v5s, and they lost a player at bomb sites. This one, Hero, go for, and, and they give all the weapons over to Team Spirit. Now, it's it was against Pistol, so it makes a little bit more sense if Heroic want to give it a try, but they didn't even get close. It's almost like you're 
you, you don't want to accept the fact that you have lost a round of pistols. So you're, you're just like sticking around, you're going for the retake. There is like that that, t that collective team frustration that it's happening on a round like exactly. this where, you're, where no one calls for the save, no one calls for anyone to fall back and everyone just, just pushes forward. You, throw the, you have to throw the pride to the side in those kind of scenarios, which is what Spirit did in the first half, which allowed them to have so many purchases. But the third timeout for Team Spirit, Hallie on the mic. He's going to want to tighten up this T side and make sure Spirit get the job done on Anubis on their map pick. Next up in the series is Nuke. That's going to be Heroic selecting that one. And the third map, if we need it in this series, is Ancient. Winner goes on to the Major. Loser goes 2-2. Two and two. This round has nothing. Well, I suppose Nertz on an M4 is never nothing, but... Unlikely, it is going to be enough. For Team Spirit, a couple of major debuts could come through. If they win this series today, obviously the most famous one being Donk. But Zontex will follow that. Looking for his debut at a major, get his sticker in the game. One of the biggest goals you will have as a Counter-Strike player. And Magix and Shiro, man, they have, they've only been to three majors. You know, Shiro did most of his, his work while majors weren't happening, you know, online. So it'd be great for Shiro, who has missed out on the Paris major, to come back with spirit. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's a good way of putting it. Of all the majors they've played in, probably the most memorable thing was them missing out on, on the Paris major, getting eliminated in the RMRs. And the LCQ to phase glant. A respectable team to go out to, but didn't want to be in that position to begin with. A bomb site's been completely cleared out in this round, so the bomb's gonna hustle over. Yeah, Zontex locks that in, no problem, and Team Spirit will be up to nine rounds. You stack on one side of the map, you hope. Spirit attack B. They don't. And now what's the idea? Nertz gets into dark with the rifle. He's protected by a squad of USPs. Because they're saving, that might send the chopper Mac 10 in to try and figure out what they're saving. Yeah, chew him up a little bit. If he can find that M4, it'd be, it'd be awesome. That's Nerth the longest way away, though. And Nerth doesn't have head armor, so that's winnable, but they're all going to peek him right now. Ooh. No kills for chopper. <laughs> <laughs> sees nothing, sees nothing. Four players immediately in front of him. Shush will take a Mac 10. It's free. You know, it's got a little anime picture on it, so we'll take it. It's free. All right, Heroic running out of opportunities to get this CT side going. Another buy coming in here. We we'll love M4s, and now they got to figure out how exactly to put a stop to what Spirit's bringing to the table. Haven't met a whole lot of resistance in middle. They've had a creep through A main a couple of times. And they want to get aggressive, very aggressive. Well, it's certainly noisy from Nertz. He doesn't care about that. He wants to just get info and get space. That grenade doesn't actually nuke the smoke open the way they probably were expecting. Shush with a great boost himself up on the stack. He actually eradicates Zontix, and that's a big kill to collect for Heroic. That's a huge pre-fire as well. Just kind of double tap and blow open the smoke, see what you've got, going back into it and pre-fire the very same angle. Nicely done, and all that aggression nets them a five on four. Still have some utility left in the tank to work with for the rest of the round as well. And after that aggressive play, Nurtz has dropped back to safety. And look how much utility and time Team Spirit have to go through just to get water back. They confirmed that now that Heroic have slunk back into the bomb sites themselves, but just under a minute left. Yeah, well, it's a standard defense for Heroic. 2-1-2. Two, one, two. one smoke left for Spirit. Yeah, and the attack is going to come at this B bomb site. It looks like they want to split it. That smoke might delay things, but actually noise already being made in dark. Donk is confident to take a fight against Nertz. He makes it look so easy. But the trade is in from Nikodos, who has to step up as the sole player left to stop Spirit breaking through. He's done very well to slow this round down again. 30 but, seconds, Team Spirit don't have the utility to re-aggress comfortably. And that's a heroic smoke inside of B main, and it does its job. That that makes the hit so disjointed. Where it was going to be two B main and two dark, instead it's just the two dark players. So even though the opening kill goes there, it can be easily addressed, and then everything shut down after the fact. Those two Spirit players, Magix and Shiro, never worked up the courage to come through this smoke. Now they want to take AKs away. 
But it's costly as Nikodaz pushes through. They don't have the money to go for those kinds of plays. Yeah, so just sent the one in, you get punished instantly. And now Shush is in a position hoping they walk back to T-spawn. But Spirit realized they've probably given Sanctuary to save their AKs. And, well, another AK and M4. And they are, so Nikodaz having to step up. It looked like he was going to be under an impossible amount of pressure to handle when his teammate Nertz fell instantly. But while that smoke is up, as you mentioned, the smoke and B main saved the day, really. You need to just charge through that smoke if you've got those kills through dark. Yeah. Nine to eight. This game is very close. Heroic giving a good battle to Team Spirit. They really are. I mean, no one's been really been able to catch momentum in the second half quite yet. Looked like Spirit might have a chance to just kind of run away with it, but Heroic put a nice stop to that with Kixon's Nikev in the second round. <laughs> Still can't believe that was a thing. Saltix and Donk together, they will try to play towards A. Shush close towards A main and Kixan taking contact from up above. Saltix will go through the motions, clearing out foul with the Molotovs. Oh, the Heaven Smoke and Flash is a perfect combination to lock out this setup. Kixan can't do much. The smoke is pretty weak to the right side of it, and Zontix is very, very aware of that. Tessa swings through camera, stops the bomb from making it safely to the site. I don't think we're going to see any more defensive setups like that. Both of the A players that went down without a kill, both of them had smokes. Both of them could have had a smoke up in A main. They chose to play it a little bit aggressively, guns out. Mm. And just now, just at the time they realize the hit's coming in their direction, they don't even have time to put the smokes down. They both get deleted. I was going to say, that smoke doesn't look good. Uh, you know, there's a gap in it. And, and uh, Sticko is showing a better version of it that lands and makes it much thicker on both sides. But it actually worked out for Zontix because he was aware of the weakness and then exploited that to his advantage. So very cool detail there for the Team Spirit. And good entrances from Zontix. He gets both of them and all three kills in the round so far. Spirit's going to be happy with the win. Don't care so much about the hunt. They're doing it slow paced and cautiously. Bomb's going to go off and Team Spirit hit double digits. And this is where that momentum can start to kick in now because it's not like Heroic have a whole heap of cash to rely upon and fall back on. Unlike what the side of Spirit had in their CT side when they were losing rounds. This is the second timeout for Heroic. So Halley's making quick work of that. He's gone on the mic as fast as he can. And Chopper, he was looking down the line, drilling out some orders. Seven major appearances for Chopper and a few of them at the major qualifier back in the old system days. Remember those days, Jason? I do. Yeah, the, I mean, those were the those were the Vegas squadron days. The shark memes. Those, yeah, where you the, really the, the cut your teeth. I did enjoy those shark <laughs> memes. But yeah, I mean, look, Dave, he was taking scalps even back then. They're the team that knocked the old legendary NIP roster out of uh, out of majors and forced them to go back through the whole cycle and all the difficulties that come with that. They had you know upset win over phase as well in some of the. Yes. So that was a that was a dangerous team you didn't want to run into in that stage of the tournament. They were a big reason as to why the CIS uh, CIS minor became more of a talking point sure. taken seriously because at that point you wouldn't really ever see teams make it out of it and do much work. But uh, the QB fire days and the Vegas squadron days, that's when things started to really rise up for the region. Yeah, they've given Kerrigan Mac 10 PTSD as well. <laughs> yeah, they have. All right, well, round 19, 10 to 8 in the favor of Team Spirit. First map of the series, aggression from Heroic. They're going to flash themselves out B main. Magix is calling it out. Grenade Deep nade, and they're going to push his position. Yeah, Magix is under a bit of scrutiny now, but he swings out. Instant headshot. Very aware of the possibility of Tessas just being in that exact spot. And also so calm during all of that, like not budging from a position where they, where they can't actually see him with that sort of aggression. Chopper's going to make the next play walking through middle. Ooh, here he comes. Yeah, he wants Temple. He's not going to care whatsoever. He's just happy he wasn't spotted. It's only Nerts here. He's down. That's the round done. Heroic. Wow, Magix is just hitting headshots. Yeah, Heroic has to save this as well. They never budge from this position, this stack towards the A bomb site, and that's a good call. Team Spirit has been able to abuse that A bomb site a couple of times, and now they just, they just work the other side of the map off the aggression. Must be nice for Magix to actually get involved in a few more rounds. He was... Kind of popping off at the start of the first half when he got the AWP in his hands and then went silent, just didn't really see too much action. But Donk, 20 kills, 8 deaths. Kind of performance we've become very used to seeing from Donk. His return to normalcy. 
been a very quiet 20 and 8. It feels like a Zywoo 20 and 8. Yeah, haven't know? been too many uh, too many highlight reels, just a couple, uh, just, just stacking double just kills, it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously that D ground where he sets up Team Spirit for the force buy. There you go, Chopper. Yeah, you there got you go, baby. Kill. Oh, Shiro's coming in hot, coming in hot, and he's got one more right at the end. They would have even had the third with one more second, but that is ruthless from Spirit. Grabbing all the extra guns away right at the end. Yeah, that's left heroic little dumbfounded. Yeah, that one, that's so painful. Spirit's getting so close and they just ripped all your resources away. Oh, look at that. USPs, P250, kicks down with the save for Mass. Oh, it's it's disgusting, really, for Heroic. That's such a winning mentality for Spirit. Not just content with the round win, but realizing they have an opportunity to set this up so nicely. Red carpet laid out to get to map point. They're going to storm down that red carpet. Camera's at the ready. Chopper takes a little dive into the darkness and sees absolutely no one, so peels away because his teammates are setting up for this A-play. Zontek's already at the front of the attack, spotted towards heaven. Doesn't really matter. That USP can't fight, it can't really stand and show its might, so Donk rips the head off. Magix has the rotation, the flank will not exist. And Heroic have the expected result off the back of this. So that one saved rifle from the previous round, it gets the only kill so far. But they know exactly where it is, and Chopper, oh, he's having a great old time. That's another kill. He'll take those easy ones. And Nikodos on the other side of the map. So 12 day, you got to win four in a row if you're heroic. And you haven't really shown yet that you can you can get a good read of what's happening on no. the map. You haven't really been able to stop the A-hits from Team Spirit. And when you shift over to try and put a stop to them, Spirit's elsewhere on the map with good calling. A very difficult task ahead of heroic. And it'll be Team Spirit taking one step closer to major qualification. They would have loved to have done it. Three and zero. But Maus took that opportunity away from them. So much expectations on Spirit, but every team will tell you they just want to get through the RMR. Like no one's coming in with, let's get it three and zero. If we don't do that, it's a failure. They know that the RMR can be brutal and you just want to make it in. Once you're at the major, it's a different ball game, but just getting through that RMR is so important for your year. Absolutely. And Shira will know all about the heartbreak. <laughs> yes, he will know probably better than better than many. From playoffs at one major to not qualifying for the next. That's how cruel the system can be. You know, but one one sense I get from talking to the spirit players at, at various events is just that they don't they don't they're not really quite at the point where they're like looking at you know the long-term goal they're they're very much focused event by event they're not really thinking about how winning an event like katowice can thrust them in a conversation to be contenders for the major i think it's because it all happens so quickly that you really didn't have the roadmap planned out or any sort of ideas that they're not aggressive through water we seem to make this move before in the half worked out decently He's sticking around though, he's very committed to this. Shush found success prior when they did this, but he hasn't found that kill up towards Zontix. And Zontix has learned his lesson. He knows that this move likely has aggression coming out of A-Main, but Donk commits solo, confident he could win the fight versus Nerds, but doesn't. And now Kicksand goes for a mid-peak. Two players up for Heroic and information being gathered with every single move. Oh, nice, nice move from Nerds as well. If he keeps pushing though, Magix oh, is gonna down. have him. Yeah, I like to slide out through the smoke, but I don't think it was time to push quite yet. So Nerd's trying to get a jump on a flank. That could come back to bite them here. It's weakened the B-bomb site defense. It could also show though when he's on his own, he can still be mighty enough to hold, but not against the AWP of Shiro. Not against the sniper when it sets its sights upon you. And Team Spirit have pulled this one all the way back from a five versus three deficit to now being three, two up on players. And Shiro now has eyes in water. And that's exactly where the last two players are coming from. They'll know they were the A players. They're very aware of that fact. And Shiro hits the easy ones, and he might just close it out. He goes a little too far in the open. Mashush is now known, and that's the problem. He's got to walk out into a crossfire that is designed to stop him getting one step closer. This is and unbreakable. This is Spirit's map. This is Spirit's first step to the major qualification. Zontix will confirm that. Anubis goes their way.
and Team Spirit looking hot. Impressive win from Spirit as well. I remember, this started out 4-0 emphatically in the favor of Heroic in that first half, and I think Spirit did such a good job with their economy. They set themselves up in that first half to come back and close it out with ease in the second.